So you've probably heard uh, SIMD and compiler uh, intrinsics can improve the speed of your code. 10x, 20x, some huge number. Um, and so you might want to go test that yourself. Throw it in your own code. See if this is actually true. So you go and find a nice hot path where you do an add, an element-wise add from two arrays. Um, and this is the most perfect thing you could possibly find to do SIMD intrinsics <coughs> with. Uh, so you read about them, you get to work, you find out exactly what you want to do to improve this section of code. Um, this is a very logical and intelligent way that you might want to go about it. You, instead of iterating one at a time, you iterate by eight. Uh, you load eight at once, do eight adds, eight stores. That looks wonderful. That looks optimized. That looks amazing. So good, you don't even need to benchmark it. Or maybe you should. Uh, so you do. And it's five times slower. Um, so you need to dig in. What happened here? Uh, well, here's the original version. And well, you were right that you should be using uh, AVX 512 intrinsics. You're so right that the compiler did it for you. Um, but uh, if they did it and you did it, well, what's the difference? Like, it's, you should just be matching them, right? Um, so take a look at what yours did in, when, it de when it compiled. Um, if you look at that yellow, purple, red section there, that's the uh, inside of your loop. Um, and it looks quite different from this because your compiler didn't just give you those AVX 512 instructions. They unrolled it, reordered it. Uh, they put in an instruction pipeline that doesn't have any dependencies on the, the previous uh, result. Uh, so you're getting these other great things um, with your compiler when you're not confusing it by throwing in AVX instructions. Um, so the way around this really isn't that AVX is bad. In fact, you can get, in many cases, the exact advertised speedups that, uh, that you hear about. But it involves a lot more because you have to go back in and do all the ugly things the compiler does for you. You have to then throw in the manual uh, unrolling and reordering into these instructions themselves. And um, it sort of results in a uh, effort to performance graph that looks like this. Uh, it's very different from the one that Herb presented yesterday. Uh, and this would be a very bad one if the timeline were months for like the adoption effort uh, graph that he gave. But in essence, you get a massive performance hit when you first do something. But you can keep adding and adding and adding and adding. And eventually, you might almost get back to where you got. Um, and though sometimes you can get to 30x what you got, um, and it's an idea of uh, you know exactly how the problem is formed and how much effort you want to put in to get there. So this is uh, you know it's an it gets better if you want to keep pursuing uh, trying to use these things uh, to improve your code.